Hello, 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 and today I have a LS tutorial for you, and this is about how you can make a paper roll or unroll, and it's honestly pretty cool and pretty easy, and I'm also going to show you how you can manipulate the shape of that paper without touching the actual mesh later. So, let's get started. Um, first of all, we're going to add a plane. This will be our paper. We're just going to scale it a bit on the x-axis. To make it a bit longer, to make it a bit more paper-like, we're gonna apply the scale, and we're gonna subdivide it like 15 times, maybe even 20 times. 20 times feels right. Let's do it once more. Yep, that feels like a good subdivision. Now let's shade this smooth. We will need this later. Um, let's see if I can activate screen touch keys for you. Let's see if it works. Maybe. Hopefully. Or I have I still not fixed it? Okay, now it works. Great. Uh, it doesn't work here. Cool. Now it works. Good. Let's add, a, add an, a curve. Uh, we will use a path for that. Um, what I have done before is I have gone into here and activated where the normals are pointing from this path. This is kind of important and you will see later on. Just select all of this. Um, into F3, go subdivide and type in, I don't know, 15 here. Select it the further, the further, and like the top vertices, activate proportional editing and then just spin. As often as you want. Spin quite a bit, like this. Um, of course, this is way too loose, so we're just going to select this inner part ag again, and then just with proportion editing enabled, scale upwards, so that these don't touch each other but have a small enough gap that it isn't as noticeable. Make our proportion editing a bit smaller. Oh, that feels good. Feels good. Okay, I can see this is now way closer and should work way better. For the final part, we will put the origin point to the center of this mesh. So just bring the cursor to the center and then set origin, origin to 3D cursor. Now, we have this beautiful part, with, which will be our pickup for the whole thing. Um, also, this is way too big, so just, just scale it down a bit. That feels about right. Um, so we're going to rotate this till that roughly is at the ground level, so something like this. And then let's go to edit mode again, select this. Save proportion editing, of course. And then just extrude this on the ground, so you have kind of like a paper pickup here. Okay, then let's bring this up so that it's kind of on the same level as this. Feels about right. Good. Now, let's go to frame one. Bring this up to here. Let's insert a location keyframe. Let's go to frame 100 and just put this to minus. Good. And set in another lo location keyframe. And now you have this beautiful anima anim animation. Now, how to wrap this paper around this curve? Well, that is honestly pretty easy. You just select your plane, add a modifier, deform, curve, and select the path. Chip. And because we didn't apply the, the the rotation, it broke. So apply the rotation, and now it picks up everything. You will see it picks it picks up up with, with an offset. Why? Because our plane, because we put a deform thing on it, it is now lower. So we're just gonna bring it up a bit, so it's on the same level, and now it picks it up like it's supposed to. 
we can now, of course, if you say, hmm, but I don't want it to deform this way, I want it to deform curved. Well, that's pretty easy. You just go into edit mode and rotate it so that it's diagonal. So, and now it picks it up di di diagonally. That is pretty much all there is to it. This is a very easy thing to do. But the downside is you cannot really interact with this mesh. Why? Well, if you change the quads that we have here, it won't roll up as pretty anymore because you need the geometry for this roll up to work well. So, if you want a different shape of paper though, how can you do that? Well, you go to shading. I'm just gonna select the map material I've already made. And what I have here is I basically have an alpha map. This is the alpha map that I have. Um, and if I go to my mat materials, I have changed the blend mode to alpha clip. It was, a, it was an opaque and the shadow mode also to alpha clip. Now, I'm just gonna select all and unwrap this onto here. Bring this somewhat in line that it fits. It doesn't need to be exact, right? Because it's a tutorial. And now, we should have, if we now go into material preview mode, we have a deformed paper, which is what we wanted. And now you, like I see, even if you, even if you roll it up, you have not a straight paper, which is really, really cool and really, really, really simple. And yeah, um, one last thing I want to show you. If you, for whatever reason, now are like, hmm, well, I kind of want um, something something in the middle here. So I want um, like, kind of like a roll at, 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 attached to that. You can also do that pretty easily. You just just gonna add in a cylinder. Rotate this. Let's get it down. Let's get it like here. And just bring this, I don't know, kind of like here probably. Okay, now the, the next problem that you will face here now is because you want to attach this to this. Um, this is basically why we put the origin point in the middle. You will now have to basically change this so that the roll basically is kind of like in the middle. So you might want to make the pickup a bit longer. So you're just going to do it like this. And then we're just going to bring it around about here, I feel like. And we're just going to place this here. And a bit higher, so... I'm just going to have to make it a bit... Yeah, so this is going to go like... Here. Kind of, kind of, kind of like in the middle of this. So you're just gonna, we can put the cursor there and then we can just... Oh, well, I didn't want that. We want to uh, we want to make selection to cursor, so just gonna put it in the middle here. And then if you just say well, give it a constraint, and then just say copy location of this thing, and don't take the Z location. We just want the X location. You can now have this follow that, which is what you want, right? Um, but of course this it doesn't stretch around this, so you will have to match this thickness to that inner thickness. So you're just going to scale this up to around here. We want this on one, so if you do this now, it's going to give us a, a different material so you can actually see this better. So now you can have that um, wrapping around that. And it and it follows that, yeah. We can make it a bit larger, so something like this. Doop. And now it wraps around that. Pretty pretty cool. 
pretty cool, pretty cool. Okay, that was my very simple tutorial this time. I hope some of you can use this, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.